Project Veritas founder's apartment raided as part of probe into Ashley Biden's stolen diary. So I saw this story where Ashley Biden, uh, who apparently, to my understanding, is Joe Biden's daughter, had her diary leak online. Uh, and I, I saw that it was from Project Veritas. So this is an interesting update. Uh, folks, I read a little bit into that. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I read a little bit into that. Assuming, and again, we got to assume this because it, it's very difficult to know given the source. But assuming that the diary hasn't been altered in any way, which again, big assumption there. Assuming that's the case. Hey, I'm just saying that there's some, there's some interesting stuff going on in there. So, but either way, let's read. The FBI raided Project Veritas founder James O'Keefe's home on Saturday as authorities continued to investigate the apparent theft of President Biden's daughter's diary, a report said. The court ordered early morning raid of O'Keefe's Mamaronek apartment was reported by the New York Times. It came two days after the feds reportedly raided two New York addresses linked to the Associates of the conservative website's creator. Neighbors of the 37-year-old told the Times about the several hours-long search, and the FBI confirmed to the paper that agents had performed law enforcement activity at the building. Oh, they're enforcing the law. All right. They asked for James. Next-door neighbor Jimmy Maines reportedly said, I thought they were banging on my door. I opened the door. Oh, that's unfortunate. That sucks. They told me to close the door, and I closed the door, he told the paper. That's exactly what happened. It was still dark. And then we got this going on there. I don't know what that is. Brent Mickle, who lives across the hall, said the agents said something along the lines of FBI weren't open up. According to the article, Project Veritas did not publish passages from 40-year-old Ashley Biden's diary, but the National File blog published handwritten pages from it about a week ahead of the 2020 election. After claiming it obtained the content from a whistleblower at another news organization, the paper reported the blog posts were largely ignored by larger media outlets, including conservative ones. I missed that, apparently. Uh, O'Keefe acknowledged that his organization was under investigation by the Department of Justice in a video statement Friday. He said his website received a grand jury subpoena that officials requested he remain silent about and questioned how the Times found out about the initial raids, probably from all the neighbors that were there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Miss Biden's father's Department of Justice specifically. Yes, yes, yes. We don't know if it was begs the question. I don't care. Former Attorney General, don't care. The controversial website is known, don't care. So anyway, that's funny. Um, and, uh, you know, this guy sucks, obviously. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm very curious how this is going to play out here. Um... And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, Project Veritas uploads a lot of cringe. I mean, like, for real. They upload some real heavy hitters when it comes to the cringe. And, honestly, I enjoy having them around just because they post really embarrassing videos of themselves. And I enjoy watching them and then monetizing myself watching them. So that's going to be something I'm going to continue to do. Uh, but either way, uh, that's all I got on that one. So that's pretty funny.